I make I sell the junior. Yeah, I have about seven. Uh, I guess you can say me close to the middle, you know, both young and older. A free dress code? Um, I, well, you know, pros and cons, obviously. Uh, I think it would actually be better if we had a school uniform. Just uh, if they change the, the, the code of what it is, you know, not much about polos and slap. Uh, and khakis. Uh, I think it's most usually by like dress uh, dress shirts, slacks, you know, professional dress, because it also helps with um, with uh, showing us how it is in the real world and you know uniformity and whatnot. Uh, dress code's also nice, you know, but uh, you know there's always at times there's probably like uh, school populations where the dress code is not enforced all that well. And it, uh, typically, it shows gang-related uh, gang-related items, provocative clothing, too revealing. It doesn't uh, show much of self-esteem to students. Uh, well, uh, being a senior, you know, going throughout my whole high school career as with the free dress code, I I honestly won't know. I guess they can probably try up a mock year. You know, they try to test it out, or they give certain uh, um, uh, class years. They give certain class years the dress code, the other ones free dress see how it uh, corresponds with the different populations and the kinds of people that we have at the school, along with the demographics. Well, obviously it helped because we already have free dress code, you can see me right here. So um, it, it, it does go well, it, do, it allows students to be, um, you know, they can be uh, the individuals that they are, show the creativeness, but then as I said also, like, you know, there's also some people that just don't know how to do it right and they end up uh, losing almost like reputation or uh, losing self-respect about each other, low self-esteem. Haley J. Guerra, North Shore Senior High. Yes. Three, because I don't like my little brother. I, uh, I like my sister and my older brother, not my little brother. I don't you wanted our It wouldn't be bad if we were uniform for this school because like, it's organized. That's the real good word. Because it's not like, no one's wearing anything provocative or. Be more organized because you, kids aren't wearing like gang related stuff or something. And if they're organized by the color coded in the grades, like 10th grade wears red, 11th grade wears white, and seniors wear black. It's like you can tell who they are instead of having to walk around with a color coded ID. But I'm not complaining about that. You gotta come to school like this. My name is Felipe Velez. I'm in 12th grade. I have three siblings. I'm the oldest. So we should be able to wear hats and not be able to shave. Like, not be forced to shave every two weeks. That's what it feels like. Um, what, what about, like, no, I believe everybody should have free dress. <laughs> this is all I think. Like, you know, you can wear, you know, you can wear whatever. Well, not whatever you want, you know, it's school appropriate, but, you know, like jeans, shorts, you know, non uniform, not like Catholic school uniform. Different. Yeah, so everybody be different. So, like, it makes it a problem? No, I don't think, I don't think it makes it a problem. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> We're getting very detailed into this, Thomas. Christopher Trevino. I'm in uh, 12th grade. Better than my other years. Why? Senior year. Okay. Last year, before I get out. Uh, yeah, I have five. I'm the middle child. Um, just like we usually dress, like at home, you know, just any kind of shoes, hats. Um, anything really. I don't think we should go back to sc uh, middle school uniforms because it's it's just like in high school you get a little more freedom, and we're all adults, so we can we're old enough to to understand you know what to wear and all that. Identify us. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the way we have a school ID, uh, ID badge is is the, the easiest way. Well, for the kids that do wear them. <laughs> <laughs>